Hi everyone, my name is Jerome and let's just take a break from our web development projects and have a quick uh, review and unboxing of an item that I recently bought which is the RAG Halia M gaming case. I got it for 1,995 pesos that's approximately uh, 40 US dollars. Let's get started. Alright, so uh, here it is guys. You might notice that there's also a box at the top. Uh, it is actually a power supply that I also purchased from the same store. We'll talk about that a little bit later. Okay, so while I'm opening the box, I'll just share a few information with you on how did I acquire this item. So uh, this, might, this information might be useful to some of you. So I got it from EasyPC uh, store. I ordered it online directly from their website. I believe they also sell in Lazada as well as in Shopee. But I bought it directly from their site. Okay, um, They delivered the item the next day after I placed the order. So that's great, I think. Based on my experience in buying computer parts online, I think Easy Peasy is doing a great job. All right? so, they don't have a rating system on their website after you made a purchase. Maybe I didn't notice it, but if there is, I'll give them a 5 star for their good customer service and the ability to deliver their products in a short amount of time. This is not an advertisement guys, just an honest review. <laughs> All right, And also because some of my friends ask me uh, sometimes where do I buy certain computer parts online so this information may be useful to them all right so as you can see right here i'm already uh, uh, opening the package and yeah it has a very uh, uh, decent packaging and as you can see it is a uh, rack brand uh, rack is actually quite good in making budget friendly gaming gears um, of course they also have premium items if you will visit their site, which I'll put the link in the description below for information purposes, you will see that they have quality gaming gears that offers competitive pricing to budget-oriented customers. Alright, so let's just continue unboxing. Okay, in here, I believe this is a hard transparent plastic. Tell me if I'm wrong, but it is pretty decent. It is initially covered with the plastic wrap that I'm removing right now. And you can see this side panel is very easy to open. You don't need a screwdriver, okay? And yep, you, uh, it is just secured by a magnet. You can just pull it out using the tab. I'm going to show it to you again right here that's the tab um, and for, from here you can all you can also see a 120 uh, millimeter uh, mounted fan at the back of the case okay it's just right there uh, you can see the fan right there and yeah it's all the, this transparent part is also initially covered with the plastic wrapping and I think that's uh, very cool it's, uh, one of my favorite part in unboxing a new product okay? removing the uh, plastic wrap and of course here's the front panel you'll see the power button the reset button led lights and the things that matters here's the usb 3.0 ports and two pieces usb 2.0 ports microphone jack as well as the headphone jack The front is entirely designed for ventilation. As you can see, you can install an additional two pieces of 140 millimeter system unit fan at the front, as well as uh, installing an additional mounted fans at the top of it for improving temperature management of this unit. This casing can fit up a lot of hardware, including two pieces of 3.5 hard disk drive using the removable drive case 
and two pieces of 2.5 solid state drives besides the motherboard. And to give you the scale of things, here I am holding a 6 GB GTX 1660 Super OC video card. And as you can see, it has a sufficient breathing room to accommodate high-end graphics card available today. Okay, just like other high-end gaming cases, this unit already offers decent cable management where cables are organized at the right side panel that will make your gaming setup neat and clean without having to see a lot of wires entangled with each other. Alright guys, before I show you the gaming case in action where I installed my existing computer parts on it, let me just quickly show you first the power supply that I'm also going to install in this gaming case. So this kind of bonus unboxing for you guys and sharing of information. So this is a Seasonic 550 watts 80 bronze power supply. To give you a bit of an idea of, uh, of an 80 bronze power supply, um, a couple of years back we only choose the brand and wattage output of the power supply. Now we have the so-called 80 plus certification that becomes a new variable in choosing the power supply that is right for you. Basically, this is just something to do with efficiency since the computing power of personal computer has dramatically increased nowadays. In effect, it demands an efficient power supply. If you are into gaming, programming, multimedia production kind of stuff, you will be needing at least 80 plus power supply to ensure that your computer will be able to handle the heavy computing requirement of this kind of activities. Otherwise, you will experience unexpected computer problems such as overheating, sudden shutdown, and other bunch of problems that is associated to an inefficient power supply from a poorly designed PC. As you can see in this table from extremetech.com, you will see the minimum for an efficient power supply for high-end use is 80 plus and this power supply that i purchased is the next one which is 80 plus bronze if you have the luxury of buying better gears you can settle of course for the 80 plus silver or the 80 plus gold fundamentally the more we scale up the better okay here are more details of the specification of this gaming case halia m model uh, color black dimension 400 by 200 by 418 millimeters supports for micro ATX and mini ATX motherboards hence type tam tempered glass oh here it is guys so I mentioned earlier it was a hard plastic so I was wrong um, it is tempered glass so drive bay two times uh, HDD and two times SSD I mentioned that earlier steel thickness 0.6 millimeters VGA max 360 meters CPU height 160 meters USB 2.0 uh, uh, two uh, ports USB 3.0 times one ports plus HD audio and here is the casing guys in action as it holds my existing PC parts, I think not so bad for a 2000 pesos budget for a gaming case. If you're trying to build a gaming setup, I think I recommend this one. It can definitely fit your existing hardwares. Storage wise, you can install up to four pieces of hard drives as long as your motherboard support it. All right. Um, Thank you guys for watching. I hope that this has been informative for you. Until next time, peace and keep safe.